Hello, this is Doug over at the Red Chip Poker Forums, and we have a question that came from GL523, and he wanted to know whether he should call off with Ace-King in this spot. He's playing the micro stakes, and there is a cutoff open. He three bets it, and then he gets shoved on. So he can close the action and see all five cards, and the question is, is this a good idea? Well, to figure out if it's a good idea, we're going to have to do some poker math. If you want more details on how to do that, part of the core membership at Red Chip Poker is dealing with poker math fundamentals. And so you can see the curriculum over on the right. There's a 30-minute introduction poker math that will cover situations like this. So let's go back, and we need to figure out some numbers here. Now when you're playing it will be a little bit easier because the numbers should be displayed on the heads-up display or on the poker table itself. But what we need to know is how much are we expected to bring to this party, that is when we call, and how much do we expect to take away from the party when we're done. So I think of it as if I bring one third of the beer to the party. If I drink more than one third, I, it's a good party. And so the question here is, if I bring a certain percentage to this flop, how much of it am I going to get back, which would be considered our equity? So the first thing we need to know is, well, how much am I bringing in as a percentage of the final pot? So the final pot here, is going to be the dollar 69 that he shoves plus the 0.12 that he already brought in there and then we multiply by 2 and that is 362 in the final pot now let's get back to how much we would put in which is dollar 81 but we have to remember that we've already put in 35 cents so we are being asked to put a dollar 46 into the pot and the final pot will be 362. What percentage of the beer are we bringing to the party? Well, a dollar 46 divided by 3.62 is going to be 40%. So if we have 40% equity or more in this situation, then we can call. Now the question is what do we have for equity and that is going to wildly depend on our mental model for the villain so let's come in here and we're going to give ourselves ace king offsuit and it's entirely possible the villain has aces entirely possible he has kings i think it's reasonable that he has queens and i think even the nittiest of villains is probably going to have ace king also if we look here, that is a pretty nitty and conservative range, and our equity is 38.82. So we are right on the edge of being able to call and break even. And if the villain's range goes any wider, then we can profit here. Well, what happens if we put in jacks? That helps us out a little. What if we put ace queen and suddenly we are a little bit over the 42 percent if we put ace queen off now it is a clear win what if we take out the jacks we're at 51 so it really depends on what we think the villain is going to make that shove with and if they go any wider than this we can see it's a 54% and we are going to be doing very well since we only need 40% equity to make this call. If you like this kind of thing, you can always take a look at my book on Amazon, which is Poker Math Workbook for Math Geeks, and it will give you tons and tons of problems that you can work out and practice these skills and it explains simple methods for doing this and for doing it in your head so you can actually do the calculations 
at the table. 